We're now going to have a look at how to compare and merge worksheets in Excel. This is really a follow on from my last video about tracking changes and sharing workbooks. So if you haven't yet seen that video, it's worthwhile just going back and reviewing that one first. Comparing and merging worksheets allows you to have a document and then ask a colleague or a line manager to review it for you. They will make changes and then the merge part of it is allowing you to bring the two documents together and see the changes that your line manager or colleague or friend has made. So the first step of this is actually having a document like I've got on the screen. So we're going to set up a document containing the data. The second step is then to send it to your colleague or line manager for review. Now there's two ways of doing this. If you have um, an email application such as Microsoft Outlook, then you can do file, send to, mail recipient for review. This will then email the document in a special format for reviewing to your colleague. When they receive that email and open the attachment, I'll just cancel that. They'll be then able to make the changes on the document and then use the reviewing toolbar to reply with changes. Now that only comes available if we use that method. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to show you um, a different method, but it amounts to the same thing. The idea is you have a document and then you save it somewhere for your colleague to review. Okay. In order to make this process happen, the first thing you've got to do is to share the workbook. So remember in the last video we selected tools and dropped down to share workbook. We'll then put a tick in the box that allows changes by more than one user. That is the act of sharing. Of course, if a document is already shared, we can remove that tick and it makes it stand alone again. We want to share that. Always have a good look around. There is an advanced tab there that allows you to keep changes for 30 days. Have a good look around at that. It's not specifically what we're trying to do in this syllabus, but always worth looking at. So we switched on track, uh, switched on share workbook. We click OK. That always asks you if you want to save the workbook. We do. Now then, we've got this shared workbook. And because um, I already had this document created, it didn't ask me where I wanted to save that. But I'm just going to go through the process now of saving the document actually on my desktop to make it nice and easy to, to use. And I'm going to call it compare and then save. So if we just review that, we've saved the document in a location where your colleague can access it. I've just put on my desktop. If you're in a work environment, it could be on a shared folder. But we have shared the workbook and then saved the workbook into a suitable location. OK, you've now finished with this document so you can close it down. Now put yourself in the shoes of your colleague. And you've asked them to review this document. So you go and find the document. It'll be on a shared area. And there it is, compare. You open the document and you make any changes. Oh, as a line manager, that's too many eggs. We'll make that 150. And I'm going to add in some toast at 150 as well. So I've made a couple of changes there as the manager. And I don't want these in. So we've made some changes. I now have to save this document using file, save as. And this is a key bit. It's got to be a different name. So that we're ending up with two documents. Because remember, the real process of this is to not save it on your desktop, but to save it somewhere that's uh, accessible or even better, really, to use that email facility. So I'm saving this with a new name. So I've got two documents now, 
One's called compare, and this is what I'm saving now, compare from manager. So the manager's now finished with this. He closes down his spreadsheet. You're now back as yourself again, and you go and open your original document, which is called compare. And there's your original document. Now then, let's do the compare and merge part. We select tools and drop down to compare and merge workbooks. Note that that option is not available if you haven't already clicked on shared workbook. So compare and merge workbooks. And then you just go and find the document that you want to merge. There it is, the compare from manager. Now it's worth saying at this stage that you might want a whole team of people to review this document. You could send out documents to 10 people. So you could have compare from manager of the bakery, compare from manager of the butchers, compare from manager of the fruit department, perhaps if you are working in a supermarket. And these documents could have gone out to all these people. They've then sent them back to you and you've got a whole load of documents to merge. So what you can do is actually select more than one document at a time. You could have them all in this folder. But obviously, we just want to compare from the manager. So we select the document and click on OK. So what has then happened is the document come onto the screen with highlighted changes already present. It switched it on for us. We can see this yellow box there. And if I hover, it tells me with a pop-up what change has been made. So I can review that quite easily. I can see those changes. And then all I need to do is jump into the um, track changes facility and accept or reject the changes to go through the document and decide which of those changes to accept. We'll accept that one and we'll accept that one and we'll reject that one and we'll reject that one. Accept that, reject that sorted. So those two documents have now been merged together into one. I can now save it and I've got my fully um, checked document. Compare and merge. Very briefly, remember the key steps. You have to switch on sharing the workbook. You then have to save the document somewhere that a colleague or line manager can get access to it. Or even better, send it to them for review if you use Outlook. When they return the document, make sure you save it in the same folder as yours, but with a different name. That gives you two documents. You open your original, and then you do Tools, Compare and Merge to bring the two documents together. Once you've brought them together, you can use Track Changes to accept or reject the changes.